Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me with this, the Spofec Dawn Overdose. Now, Spofec come from Novatec. Spofec literally being spirit of ecstasy. The overdose is a dawn that is not dialed up with steroids to maybe 11 or 12 or 13 or even 14. This is about 200 or something. It is 13 centimeters wider than the standard car. It also has the Entronic box with more power from the 6.6 liter twin turbo V12. And well, just look at the color scheme of this car behind me. This belongs to Russian 007 AM, the kit installed by GMP cars. Today, I'm going to show you around, take it for a drive at this book. Well, just, just look at it. We're going to go exploring and see what it's about. Have a look at this then, parked up here in the bright California sunshine. I'm just north of San Francisco, but look at the color scheme of this car, the blue and the orange. And you will also notice it is rolling on these gigantic 24 inch Forgiato wheels. But let me take you on a tour around it, talk about some of the changes and some of the story behind this. And this car actually is painted from Rolls Royce in Mexico blue. It's believed to be the only Rolls Royce in North America actually in this paint color. And of course it's been furthered on top of that with the white body package by GMP cars near to where we're located right now who did the work including the conversion so Spofec by the way the name of the brand the sub brand from Novatec who make this package and of course Novatec are famed for their Ferrari Lamborghini McLaren projects for example the N Lagos in this case Spofec actually comes directly from the spirit of ecstasy S-P-O-F-E-C spirit of ecstasy which I think is a really clever name overdose is their name for the wide body package and they only made eight of these for the dawn only eight in total. This is the second one I think I've seen. I've seen one before in gray with an orange interior that I filmed on the channel. But today I'm gonna to be driving this to see what it's like. And the big thing, by the way, just to get straight to this, have a look at this. Have a look at the width of the rear arch. We're talking the standard original doors, the standard boot lid and also bonnets, but the bumpers are changed and the fenders, all four fenders are changed. And you can see just how wide this thing is. 13 centimeters wider front and rear. So you have the original piece onto which the carbon composite piece is kind of placed and GMP did all of that work for this car. Then around at the back, you've got the new look to it, the new bumpers, the new lower sections. And if we come also around towards the front, around the front here you have this completely new fascia to the car as well so much wider than the standard car and of course you can see that around here with these openings seven centimeters six and a half centimeters i should say on each side which is truly truly crazy and also by the way the spirit of ecstasy on this car is gold you can have it these days either silver standard you can have the illuminated one or you can have the gold one which just stands out that little bit more and sometimes you see these cars with the contrast bonnet um, just to be silver or something slightly different and up around the window frame but in this case the one tone the single tone for the exterior which also emphasizes that traditional rolls-royce grille that you have around the front now in here there's a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged v12 that's up about 85 horsepower from standard and 160 newton meters so that means this thing is actually putting out 686 horsepower and 980 newton meters those are big big numbers now come and have a quick look at the interior as well. You've got the bright orange leather. You've got these navy blue areas as well here in the central console, the upper part of the dashboard, the embroideries and the headrests and some of the other details around and all of that complemented as well with the wooden decking that you have for the rear deck and also the main majority of the dashboard. That is a really classy interior. In this case, exaggerated, I think, with the dual tone color scheme that we've got going on. Now, normally you can't really hear a Rolls Royce. This does make a little bit of sound, which we're going to hear in a second starting it up of course new side sills as well to go with this and you will notice as well it is sitting a little bit lower than standard too now being a rolls royce the front doors the two doors of this actually open towards the rear the suicide style doors which are always immensely cool and you're greeted by a very very smart door card on this let me take a step inside though we will get this car started up because I always love a Rolls Royce. You've got this very thin, large steering wheel, those traditional style displays, start button here, keyless system in this car. And it comes fairly softly into life where you then press the button here and the door closes. It's such a cool thing. Yes, you can't really beat that. Now being British and out here in the sunshine in California, I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty hot. So what I might do actually just for the moment is close the roof uh, which I think is that way um, we can get that folded up and it basically becomes a coupe inside here I will open it shortly but 
the sunshine is kind of getting to me quite quickly and I don't want to get too burnt today. So that closes up. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but then it's a very sturdy mechanism and it is very quiet inside when all is said and done. Then it does the windows just after and those all close up. Of course, I've got the air conditioning blowing fairly strongly at the moment, so you might be getting that coming over the camera. I apologize for that. So then, this is the car. Let's go out for a little drive and see what it's like. A Rolls Royce is such an elegant thing to drive. You don't have shift paddles. You put it into gear with this little stalk here, put on the brake, down into drive, just like that. You always want to drive it in kind of chauffeur style, feeding the steering wheel as quietly as you can. It just seems to be the, the way you drive it. And that's what I always love about them. There's nothing else that's like a Rolls Royce. It's totally its own kind of car. And we're gonna be cruising, I hope on some nice roads here to get a small feel for what this is like. One of the parking sensors there on the branches around. You can hear a little bit of the V12, but it's very much just cruise, waft along, you have very few things you can change in terms of settings. There is a button just here on the stalk. You do have a button for low, which drops the gearbox down a gear or two. Um, the new Rolls Royces all have the satellite uh, geo-assisted uh, system as well, where it knows you're coming up to a corner from the GPSs and therefore drops some gears in advance. You just let it float along. And I tell you what, yes, I know this is not everyone's taste. In fact, quite far from everyone's tastes. But when you're looking around and you're looking at the bright blue up ahead with the orange of the interior and the dark navy of the dashboard, it's actually a really cool looking thing. It's just, I don't know, if you're gonna go the full hog with this and have the wide body package, right? Why not do this as well? I'm gonna pull out onto a road to cruise along a little bit more. But again, you just wanna do it in silence. And pretty much all you can hear right now is the sound of the climate control, the air conditioning, which obviously is blowing quite strongly because it's way too hot. Um, this is gonna look quite busy, however I'm gonna go about it. But this car, like I said, power increase. The standard Dawn has 570 horsepower. The Dawn Black Badge has 601. This car with 686 and 820 newton meters of torque is a fairly substantial number. And we could pull it out and just glide up to speed. <laughs> so easily, so gently, so smoothly. And then there you are, and you're just cruising along. Yes, that was a big bump, and of course, 24 inch wheels, not the smallest in the world. But yeah, not so shabby. As much as I don't really want to do it, it does feel a little bit criminal to be driving in a Rolls Royce Dawn and to not have the roof down in this weather. So let's have a go with this then. The button just here in the center console, give it a press, you can do it while you're driving. And I suppose if I can hold back from getting sunburned for half a second, it is pretty nice to drive a Rolls Royce top down. What a lovely day. A lovely, lovely day. Okay, it does, it does take a while. I'm not gonna lie, it does take a while. And then does the, the windows go up automatically? No, they don't. So we will use the buttons here, lift all of those. And we're back to cruising. And of course, the way the car is designed, you've got a lot of open cabin, so you do get the wind, like you can feel it. But then, it's no bad thing, it's part of the experience, right? And we're just going to cruise and find some nice, nice roads to just waft along, just to let the car do its thing. And you know, the whole theory behind a Rolls Royce is that the car is kind of guiding you and, and taking you along with it. You don't have to worry about driving modes and settings and how you're going to set it up. And, you know, you do have things like the reversing camera. As soon as you pop the car into reverse, it pops up the cameras here. Uh, the top-down view that you've got. Um, don't want to leave it in reverse by mistake, and that will stay up when we go back into forwards. You've got these very old-fashioned style controls, the climate control, um, but they are just so nice. Everything you touch has great feel to it. All the things you can open and close, different compartments, all full of cables and stuff in there, but just all the toggles and everything is made with a quality to it. And, there's nothing like a Rolls-Royce, you know, everything is considered a benchmark, is the Rolls-Royce of whatever it is, Rolls-Royce have that, that something, that je ne sais quoi, that nothing can quite match. And in this case, it's a Rolls-Royce with a different character, with something else input into it, with the overdose body kit, the fact that it's a huge, 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 huge car. And when you view out the mirrors, you have to be very aware of where the back is, because those arches, stick out at the bottom so far and it's a well a very very wide thing as a result 
but it's also a very powerful thing. You know, it's a 6.6 litre twin turbo V12. Make no mistake about it, if you need to propel the car away, the front just pitches up and it pulls away incredibly well. And, I mean, <laughs> I, I can't decide what I think at the moment. I can't decide what I think. The colour scheme of this, I do love. Out here in the sunshine, it works so well. You can, right? This is the one of the places in the world here, the Middle East, the places where you can have a car in whatever colour scheme you want without feeling bad about it, without feeling like it's too much. You couldn't do this in the UK. In fact, I don't think you could really wide body a Rolls Royce in the UK. I, something about that just isn't quite right. And in fact, I suppose purists would say that you shouldn't ever do this to a Rolls Royce. I'm sure Rolls Royce would say you should never do this to a Rolls Royce. So a little bit torn on opinion in that respect. But I love that it exists. I love that the owner, Russian 007 AM, has allowed me to take it out for a drive and the GMP have built it. I mean, I'm just enjoying the experience right now. If you do want the power, you just kick down with your foot on the accelerator and then it all comes. <laughs> so much torque. But the funny thing is, you have no gauge of how quickly you're going because it's not noisy. It's not loud. So much of speed comes from sound. That's why electric cars never quite have that, that feeling of drama because despite being instant torque and insanely fast, you don't hear it. And here, of course, you still barely hear it. You see the front end pitching up quite dramatically given the weight and size of the thing. But you don't hear the sound. You don't feel like you're getting on the move and flying down the road. So I've got to work out where exactly we're going. I think it is this way. Again, just quietly on the steering wheel. <laughs> something about driving a Rolls Royce. One day, I kid you not, one day, I would love a Rolls Royce in my life. Just, just, it's an experience. Yeah, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, McLarens, whatever. But a Rolls Royce is a Rolls Royce. There's nothing like it in terms of this just elegant, classy way of cruising along the road. It's just, even like this, even when it's bright blue and orange, it's still an absolute winner. So we are now arriving back actually at GMP. I think they're just up here somewhere, but I hope we're in the right place where we've taken the car out for the drive today. But honestly, I, I every time I drive one, I just have this mad craving for one. I think there's just nothing like it. Nothing like it in the slightest. And in this particular case, it's quite extreme, but I do think it's quite cool as well. Even though it's a Rolls Royce, I'm still being extra careful up the dip here not risk damaging anything and we will pull it on up and call it a day there so let me just pull over to the other side into the shade again come to a stop press on the end for park pop all the windows down so it looks better and i'll show you guys a little bit more around the outside of the car and some things love it in here by the way the screen you can actually hide it away one press of that button and you get the wood finish coming down then gone is the kind of digital interface and now you have a more traditional style to everything all of these open up so you've got your cup holders in there storage pouch to pop the key in as well just quickly to show you that i've got it in my pocket naturally and um, the rolls royce key that you have a few buttons and controls on it quite a sizable piece but that can be placed in there should you wish you can close that back up this section opens as well with a few different things, your 12 volt socket and your toggle in the center is of course the control for all of the infotainment. The climate control, the air conditioning vents by the way, this is how you actually open and close them. Again, really nice touches, the clock up there on the passenger side of the dash, everything just really comes together and makes for a very nice package. You've got heated seats, cooled seats as well, just really nice toggles, everything. I'm sorry to keep beating on about it, but it is a really cool thing. And then the doors, which you open with your elbow and they open backwards. I'm actually just gonna pull down here the toggle to open up the engine bay so we can go and have a look at that and if you're not familiar with them just in here one of the coolest things you press this button out pops your umbrella which you basically don't really need too much in california actually i say that we're near san francisco you do a little bit here but you have your rolls royce umbrellas which can also be matched to the car which you can then click back in and they are hidden out of the way on the door itself your usual controls lovely mirror controls close those back and of course soft close that would pull it back in tidily as well now i did open up the engine bay let's come and have a quick look at this and see if i can find the catch eternal struggle lift that up 
and there you have your 6.6 litre twin turbocharged V12. Of course, a very big, very heavy lump. I don't think anybody is gonna argue it is the most efficient of engines in the world either when you consider the size and the weight of the entire car and the scale of the engine. But it's a very, very nice one in terms of the amount of torque you've got, especially if you have just shy of a thousand Newton meters. So let's close this back down. Oh, it's gonna need a uh, click down into place on the center spine running towards the spirit of ecstasy. So there we more or less have it then, a look at the Spofec Rolls-Royce Dawn Overdose. Overdosed quite literally on everything that makes it wide and what an experience to drive with it today. Perhaps the wheels are on the big side. If you're cruising around town, not gonna to be a problem. Out and about, those make for a much, much firmer ride than if you had some smaller wheels on it. Um, but they still have those self-leveling Rolls-Royce logos in the center where if you move the car, they actually just rotate to make sure they're always vertical and always displayed the correct way. The interior though is stunning. The interior, the color spec, I really, really like it. It's strong, it's striking, yes, but out here, this works and it works very well. Anyway, as you can tell, it is now pretty windy here. Sorry about that. I hope that hasn't been a problem on the video. So now I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you very much again to Russian 007 AM and also to GMP Cars. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Rolls-Royce Dawn Overdose from Spofec. That's it though, I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, cheers.